I'm Kate, and I'm a nonprofit administrator, and we switched from Crowdcast to Hopin. For more reviews like this, click below. Both Crowdcast and Hopin helped us present virtual events through our completely virtual season during the pandemic. Hopin is best for an interactive event that has lots of different types of events, say live performances, breakout sessions, uh, vendor booths, things like that, where you need lots of different options for your attendees to participate in. Crowdcast is great if you want to live stream one performance or session and have some interaction with your audience through chat and other functions, but not have them interacting on screen. Setting up with Crowdcast is a breeze, really easy to go in and use their uh, online tools. Hopin was a little bit more involved, did require some meetings with their team, but once we got in and learned the system, we were able to do it on our own. The top considerations when looking at this type of software are what the different types of offerings you might be. Are they just performances that you want your audience to watch or is it something that you want them to really be able to interact with? I would consider if you want to have your attendees on screen with you or if you want them just watching and what level of engagement you want your attendees to have if it's kind of casual or if you really want them to be immersed in the experience.